India's national security advisor Ajit Doval created a storm together with his veil threat before two weeks, apparently aimed towards China and Pakistan, stating that the country wouldn't only fight from its own territory but also on foreign soil if it becomes a source of security threat. India's NSA's remark raised many eyebrows, with many linking the threat to China, with whom India locked during a tense standoff over Ladakh. It is not necessary that we only fight where you want to. India will take the battle to where the threat originates. The Times of India quoted double saying that referring to the war doctrine of New India. His comments marked a paradigm shift in India's strategic thinking to act proactively to neutralize the security threat. The country long held belief within the doctrine of not being the primary aggressor is being frequently challenged by the new administration. The Defense Minister of India also said on November 5th, however, India is determined to protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity in the face of unilateralism and aggression. In June of 2020, Indian Defense Minister Mr. Rajna Singh hinted that the country changing its no first use policy for its nuclear weapons if needed, in the sight of heightened tensions with the neighbor. India has strictly adhered to its doctrine of no nuclear first use policy. What happens in the future depends on the circumstance, said Mr. Rajna Singh in his tweet. The war of words between the leader of India and China heated recently, with Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping saying, It is necessary to speak to invaders in the language they know. That is, your war must be fought to deter its invasion, and violence must be met by violence. The fear threat from the each side heated after the Indian and the Chinese troops locked themselves during the heightened face off and the stand up along the line of actual control near the Himalayan region of Ladakh of India where the Indian soldiers standoff with Chinese took place this year. Earlier, the report suggested and supported a video uploaded on a Facebook page said that NSA Doval of India had won China during the function and had said India will fight while the threat emerges. You said that we never attacked, Doval properly said within the video while addressing an unofficial switchful meeting. We never became aggressive to share our personal interests. We surely fight on our soil, also on a foreign soil, but not for our personal interests, said Doval. Ours is a civilized state. It is not based on any religion or language. What cannot be seen is what is the foundation of this nation is its culture. The NSA is here saying within the video, consistent with the reports. However, the official told press agency ANI that the double speech was made during a spiritual context and will not be twisted. Indian officials have also clarified that Dole wasn't pertaining to any country or a selected situation, reported ANI. So what do you think of Mr. Rajna Singh, the Defense Minister of India, and National Security Advisor of Rajit Dowell are saying about new India rising and can make a threat or invade into other countries for its own protection. India successfully test fired air to surface anti radar strike missile Rudram 1. And now India sends the Indian Navy to Ladakh to counter Chinese alongside China help Pakistan to build surface to air missile systems in the POK against India. Amid the rising tension with India along the LAC in Ladakh, India on Friday successfully tested a new indigenous air-launched missile called Rudram-1, which is designed to destroy a variety of enemy surveillance, communications, and radar targets on the ground after being fired from the Sukhai 30 mk jets. The new generation anti-radiation missile Rudram-1 has a strike range from 100 to 200 km depending on the altitude from which it is fired. The missile with a launch speed from Mach 0.6 to 2 is twice the speed of sound, 
was tested from Sukai fighter jets against a target on the Long Wheeler Island off the coast of Odisha around 11.15 am Indian Standard Time. The Rudramon missile, which has an INS GPS navigation system with a passive homing head for the final attack, maneuvered towards the target based on the direction detected by the seeker and hit it with a pinpoint accuracy. All the mission objectives were successfully met, said a DRDW Indian scientist. Now China is helping Pakistan in installing surface-to-air missile system near the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. With the dispute on the line of actual control between India and China only surging day by day, China has taken its military-to-military -military cooperation with Pakistan to the next tactical level. The intelligence report also suggests that China and the Pakistan are working towards better integration of their military against India. The construction is in full swing near Lasana Dok in POK for installation of a surface-to-air missile system. A similar construction has also been reported on the Chinari in Jalong district and Chakodi in Haichin Bala district of the POK, as per the Indian intelligence report. China and Pakistan are working in a tandem for better integration of their forces and this year in June of 2020, Islamabad posted a senior army officer at the PL headquarters in Beijing. India's Chief of Defense Staff General Bipin Rawat already warned Pakistan that India is capable of handling two-front battle. Issuing a stern warning to Pakistan, he further said, if Pakistan tries to take advantage of any threat developing along India's northern border, then it would suffer a heavy losses. Earlier on the 9th October of 2020, an open source intelligence handle on the Twitter named the Tresfa revealed that a P-8I aircraft of Indian Navy was flying over the Himachal Pradesh, possibly headed towards Ladakh, where the India and China have been locked in a tense standoff for months. A retired Indian Navy Captain D.K. Sharma, who was serving as the spokesman and public relations officer of Indian Navy, revealed that the aircraft was live-streaming data to support the decision-making during the Doklam face-off. This wasn't the only time the P-8 Poseidon of the Indian Navy was used along the land border. The P-8I comes equipped with the ANAPA-10 radar, which it makes a rarity and described as a maritime, littoral, and overland surveillance radar. As it is clear from the description, the radar can be used to monitor ground movement and is capable of providing data in all weather conditions, both at the night and day. So what do you think of China and Pakistan teaming up against India on building surface-to-air missile system in the POK and India is sending its navy plane to counter China in the Ladakh region?